Hello everybody, it's good to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first visit, a very, very warm welcome to you and a warm welcome equally to my returning viewers, subscribers and members. Your support is gratefully received as ever. Please do hit that subscribe button if you would. If you like this content, if you're gonna stick around, if you're gonna come back for more, that subscribe button will help you to get back to me easily as will hitting the notifications bell and it helps me so much. And consider joining the channel as well for extra perks like members only videos. Let's get right to business. What do we wanna talk about in this video today? Something I've wanted to share for a little while now and it's maturing very, very nicely in Microsoft 365. It's all about Copilot and specifically Copilot pages. And I'm gonna give you a short demo on how to use it and some of the benefits of using it in conjunction with Microsoft Loop. Without any further ado, let's dive in. So here I am in Copilot and I want to use Copilot pages to start collaborating on a new project for my organization called Project Microgenesis. Now, I happen to know that the same project team that collaborated on a project called Chrysalis are going to be involved in this new project. So I wanna take a little bit of a shortcut and reference that original draft proposal for Project Chrysalis in my new project and my new project team. So what I can do is I can upload that draft proposal from that previous project right here into Copilot. Here we go, we upload the file and it goes away and it gives me a summary of Project Chrysalis. Really, really nice, fantastic stuff. Okie dokie, so what have we got here? It's telling us uh, all about the project overview, the objectives, the key milestones and dates, and so on and so forth. So this is nice, this is good, but it's not editable. I can copy it, I can paste it into Word, but I can do things a lot quicker if I select this option here, which is edit in pages. So here we go. We have got lovely editable space now where we can add details in. So a good start, a really good start. So what I would like to do is go back to my Copilot chat and I just want to uh, add some extra detail in. So I'm going to type in create a table of the key project milestones helps if I can type and hit on there and here we go so we've got our lovely table there and that is really cool but it's not on the pages but if I click on edit in pages it actually adds it in to my page right there, which is super, super great. So I can see I've got my table. I've not got very much real estate space here though. So um, I might want to edit this in a more user friendly way. So let's take a look. Bef before we do though, I just want to make sure that I am calling this the right thing. So it's not going to be Project Chrysalis DocX, it's going to be Project Microgenesis in this case. So there we go, we've got the right name. And as you can see, you can make little changes here, but, it, but it's not the best. So what we can do here is we can click on the share button and we can get a page link to our Copilot page. And we can copy that link and share it with whoever we want to share it with, uh, who's going to be participating in this project. You can go to the settings and make sure the right people are included so you can control those permissions. Another way of doing this is you can copy the component. And what that does is it will copy and embed exactly what you've got here into another app for you. For example, Outlook. So you might want to create an email and share this, copying that component and then pasting that component in, again, with the relevant permissions for those who should be able to access it, you'll be able to share it that way. But what I want to do is I want to edit this in loop. So pages is based on loop. So let's just make sure I've copied that page link once again and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a new tab and I'm going to paste 
in my link to the loop. And here we are, my loop is open right from Copilot Pages and we can see all the details. And you can actually see where I'm hovering over it in Copilot Pages. So I've still got it open right here in the Copilot Pages in chat and it's uh, aware of that. So uh, that's really cool. So I can edit this much easier in this view. As you can see, I can take in content, I can move content around and I can even add in uh, items to the table uh, right here. If I wanted to, I can make some changes. So I can insert uh, columns and uh, uh, to the left, to the right, or rows below, and, and all sorts of good things. But what I'm noticing here is that I don't have the assignees for each project workload in this table. So let's go back to Copilot and ask it to put that in. So here we are, we typed in, add the appropriate assignees to the table. Let's hit the button and see what it does for us there. Okay, amazing, amazing. So let's just go and see if it's actually done that in pages yet. And I'm going to think it hasn't, and I can just double check that in the, in the bigger view. So, what I can do here is I can edit in pages and, oh yeah, so what we have here is an updated table. So if I go back to loop, here we go. I've got that added in. It doesn't take the other table out though, but what I can do is I can delete said table. There we go, there we go. So what do we got, what do we got? That's brilliant, updated table. So what you'll note is that it actually brings some of the, the text replies here. So sure, here is a table. So I don't want all that in my proposal, obviously. So I can take that out. I can take that out. And really, really cool stuff. So um, this is really cool. So not all of the tasks in that original proposal had an assignee to them. So what I can do is I can add in those assignees. And what I hopefully should be able to do as well is... Perhaps I can add people in this as well. So, so yes, I could actually put in the right people here. So I could put in Stella Gibson, and they're going to get called out in that now. To give this uh, person access and notify them, click on this message. So there we go. That's what we need to do. And grant access, share, and notify only. So that's going to give Stella access. So we've only got these as text here for these workloads. So what we can do is we can type in these real names here and uh, and replace them. So there we go, there we go. I don't know quite how that happened, but uh, that is really cool that the actual text typed in there was intelligent enough in, in Copilot and Loop to know that actually we've got a Christine Chapel. Click this message and you can give them access, share and notify. So there you go. And you could do that for all of the names you've got in there already. So. As you can see, we've got our milestones from the document we uploaded. We've got our dates, which we can change, obviously, because it's from a, uh, an uploaded example from a previous project. We can tweak our activities and do whatever we want with that. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, what about uh, governance and information protection and all that sort of stuff? Well, what you can do is you can apply sensitivity labels to these loop components uh, that are created as part of Copilot pages. So you can do that right from here, apply the sensitivity label that you want. So we could put confidential in there. You could put a retention label on as well, uh, no label or record type one in this case. And uh, the content has a label that's locked. So no changes can be made. So the lock feature isn't supported yet in loops. So there we go. As it turns out, uh, once that's set, I cannot unset it because it's locked. So, so there you go. Interesting. Um, but you get the idea of the sort of thing that you can do here. And you can apply DLP policies to it because this is going to be stored in your OneDrive and all sorts of good stuff. So I think this is absolutely brilliant. And the sharing capabilities are just fantastic. What else can we do here? We can rename and style, we can print, we can look at our version history, we can get a recap. Let's see what that does. Uh, no recaps yet. Uh, when you create a recap, it will 
appear here. So what does that do? Mention someone and enter your recap here. Um, I'm not entirely instinctive about what that's going to do just yet, but that looks interesting. And what are these options? Shared locations. So shared locations for Project Micro Genesis. Open the page in, and you can add it to a workspace within Microsoft Loop. Uh, you can copy as a loop component, uh, as we've seen before, and then it just wants allow access to the clipboard, but you can do that from the share drop down as well. So lots of great things, and I'm sure you can see the potential just as much as I can. All right, well, I think that shows enough. Uh, let's wind up the video and have a little outgoing chat. So there you go, Copilot Pages powered by Microsoft Loop. I think you will agree that this is absolutely fantastic and such a time saver. Just imagine referencing previous proposals and scopes of work and those sort of business documents and tailoring them, tweaking them so quickly and sharing them with ease. Absolutely brilliant, so powerful. And imagine just how much it's going to improve over time as well. So let me know what you think. Have you been using it already? I'm sure you will have been doing so as it's absolutely fab. Right, let's wind up the video. Members, if you are a member of the channel, there will be another members video coming very soon in the next few days. Watch out for that. I appreciate your support. Please remember to subscribe, like, and hit the notifications bell if you've liked this content. I appreciate all your support. Take care, travel well, and stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.